Welcome to Small Town Big Deal. I've traveled across the country and firmly believe that the people in small towns are the hands that keep America strong. So join me, Rodney Miller, as I show you the great things these people do on Small Town Big Deal. Welcome back to Small Town Big Deal. We're just down the road from Cooperstown at a little village called Fly Creek. And I'm actually on Fly Creek. There used to be eight mills here, but there's only one operating mill remaining. And that's the one right behind me. But what's so special is they do it just like they did a hundred years ago. Flowing just as freely as it did more than a century ago, Fly Creek isn't just pretty to behold, it's pretty powerful. It's the foundation of Fly Creek Cider Mill and Orchard, a family business that sustained three generations. Bill Michaels is the second generation co-owner of the Fly Creek Cider Mill. Bill, this is such a picturesque area here, and this whole facility, what's the history? Well, we're an original water-powered cider mill, uh, built in 1856, continuing to press cider the old-fashioned way with the use of our turbine water wheel. Barbara Michaels, Bill's mom, was a big part of making the mill what it is today. I'm smashing, smashing is missed a little bit. Or... You really I'm have a sure. unique I'm capture sure. of our vocabulary. <laughs> did you ever dream it would turn into this? No, we never did. My husband and I started the mill small in 1964, and uh, I was teaching art, and he was a union carpenter. You had separate roles, you and your husband. What was your role? Well, I created the gift shop in what was the grist room here in the mill. This is where the grist this, mill was at one time. This is where they ground the grain, and uh, since I was an art teacher, I thought I'd make little clay things and some dried flower arrangements and things like that. While Charlie was downstairs doing the apple sales and grinding the apples. and Come right along. That was on the weekends, and the lines were way out to the driveway, and people waiting for their own cider because they made their own hard cider in those days, yeah. The core of this entire operation are these babies, round, sweet, and juicy. Makes me hungry. I'm the vice president in the apple dumper, too. Numerous times each day, you'll find Bill, the self-proclaimed apple dumper, transporting thousands of hand-picked New York State apples from one part of Fly Creek to the next. And right behind Bill is Ants, a native New Yorker who has a wonderful way with the apples. Nice and easy, you don't have to be fast about it. Can you keep them coming and okay. I'll, I'll, uh, okay. I'll keep the conveyor full. This is kind of like shoveling corn. I used to work New York City sanitation 26 years. Wow. I moved up here, got a farm, and I do this. I would never have guessed that because you don't have any kind of a New York accent. accent. There you go. Spending time with ants and shoveling apples got me thinking about a second career. You think I got a future in this if the TV thing doesn't work out? I think so. I think you can, you can fit right in here with no problem. One thing's for sure, I'd never be bored here at Fly Creek. Take a look at the long lines that snake out the door and along the driveway. Barbara Michaels says the success of Fly Creek Cider Mill is just the result of good home training. Now, was Bill, was he like a tough kid when he was growing up, or? No, no, well, no, not really. <laughs> now, he, come on, you can tell the truth. He, he actually lived down here. He did a little bit of everything. He helped me in the gift shop, and he made the cider, and then he wanted his own popcorn sales, and, and he would collect the money. Bill, did you grow up wanting to do this? Was that you just had this dream to make apple cider, or? Well, I grew up here, my sister, who was the smart one, uh, became a teacher, and I decided that I wanted to come back in the family business and grow it, and I really think I'm the smart one now. <laughs> and so does Brenda Michaels, Bill's wife and co-owner of the Fly Creek Cider Mill. 
Brenda, Bill said he's kind of the brains of the operation, but I've been around him a while, and I'm <laughs> guessing that's not the truth. What, what's your take that. on that? No, he tells everybody that, because I, I, I'm the back of the house. I stay home, and I make everything happen from home, and then I come in and sell wine on the weekends. And I see you working so. pretty hard here, too. Oh, so. yes, yes. So this yes. is definitely a family business. It is a family business, yes. It's a family business that's evolved into a profitable marketplace and a family destination. That's good stuff. Today? It's a retail gourmet experience. We have barbecue sauces, dips, rubs, marinades. Upstairs we have a lot of uh, seasonal gifts and merchandise. Um, I would say there's probably more than 10,000 different items here, uh, ranging from sweet. And you want me to put a piece of tape on Absolutely, it? Absolutely, so I can't get at it. <laughs> to tart. Very good. Very good. Decorative to shiny, crystal to fabric. Everything is right underneath these real and way under the roof, down in the basement to be exact, a 1924 Waterloo Boy engine that runs it all. I'm just gonna prime it. I gotta prime it each time. Here at Fly Creek, it's what powers the cider mill press. And we throw the magneto over, stand back, and hope it starts. Wow, it takes a hoss to turn that flywheel, I can tell. One more time. Are we done before we ever get started? Is this the end of our apple cider making journey? Stay with us. Small Town Big Deal will be right back. Welcome back to Small Town Big Deal. We're on Fly Creek, inside the Fly Creek Cider Mill where apple cider is made the old-fashioned way. Bill Michaels, co-owner of the Fly Creek Cider Mill, has spent the last few minutes trying to fire up his 1924 Waterloo Boy Classic. Now we don't have to choke it. It runs the press that squeezes the apples and makes the cider. They say the third time is a charm, but I think I've lost count. Sometimes when I get too tired, we say that the spark starter is broken. <laughs> People understand. Now we're back in business. Let's go back upstairs where thousands of hand-picked New York State apples are being washed, grinded, and then prep to be pressed in what's called the rack and cloth method of making cider. This whole process is just amazing. You know, I would just love to do something like this in retirement. So who knows? Maybe I'll come to upstate New York in a few years. It takes about 32 bushels to make what's called a full cheese, which is the stack of ground apples. The apples are then rotated underneath our press where the pump puts about 2,000 pounds of pressure right on the apple stack. Now it's really putting the squeeze on. Once that pressure is applied, fresh, pure apple cider is produced. Is it all natural sugars or do you add sugar to it? Or? Our cider is made just with ground pressed apples. There's no additives, no preservatives only the natural sugars that are in the apple. We try to blend at least four or five different varieties to make a, a, a nice, clear, clean cider. Does the people's reaction make you feel good when they see the mill work and the cider press? What affects me most is when you have generations coming back to watch the same pressing operation. You have a father, son, and grandfather or grandmother saying, I remember you used to do it the same exact way when I was a little kid because they're watching the same process done with historic antique equipment and it, it really makes you feel good. So do you think mom that you're gonna go home and try to make some apple cider now? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we'll just buy it. <laughs> it's amazing how they how they do that and how they just how fast it comes out. I don't understand that. I've been coming to the cider mill since I was a little girl. So you obviously enjoy it. Yeah, it's the best cider. 
What do you like best about the apple cider meal? <laughs> the free stuff. <laughs> Once all the cider is pressed out of the apple grinds, this is what's left, a product called Pompous that's delivered to local farmers who in turn use it as fertilizer. It's all about recycling, and I think I've finally gotten the hang of it. Like this, hold this side too? Yeah, swing it around. I don't want to knock you out of a job though, you know. Job security is important here, I'm sure. Something tells me he's not too worried. In fact, no one here seems to have a care in the world. With fresh, delicious, homemade apple cider at your fingertips, why would you? So this is fresh. And if an apple a day keeps the doctor away, well, you do the math. We could live forever here at Fly Creek. Mm, that is really good. We'd like y'all to join in. Oh, and you're sweet. All your family's in a fix. Go straight to the Black Creek Cider Mill, built in 1856. Where the nation's moved more slowly, and life is true and real. Where cider's made the old fashioned way, with a turbine water wheel. Today's world's pretty fast paced with the smartphones and all that. When they come here, they're usually with their mom, dad, they're with grandma and grandpa and they're having fun. They eat the fudge, they eat the samples, and they go home and they're like, oh, what a great day. So if we can provide these families with just a little time together, I think it's worth it. Preserving history by maintaining the original equipment, keeping our building with its original footprint right here on the banks of Fly Creek. I mean, we've been flooded out a number of times, but we keep coming right back at it. A lot of people probably would have given up but by developing our marketing mix through the diversity of products that we offer, and now we have our online store, we're shipping products around nationwide. So all that energy and capital comes back in so we can maintain this destination for generations to come. For everybody now, apples and cider, apples and cider. If you would like any of the hundreds of things they have to offer, check out the Fly Creek Cider Mill website.